What a sick path this is. Scotland and the Highlands. We've always dreamed of going on a bike trip there. My friends Eric and Benny and me were looking for a wild off-road adventure. And what better place to go than Scotland? This is beautiful right here. The first week took us through the famous Highlands on the mainland. And we got to know the lovely Scottish people and the midges. Early in the morning we set off from Freiburg for a 16 hour train ride. We had to change trains in Paris, London and a few other places, so it was quite an exhausting day. We are in the UK, baby. Around midnight we finally arrived in Perth, north of Edinburgh, and just rode a few kilometers from the train station. We are ready. We're in Perth, in Scotland, and tonight we're just gonna ride uh, yeah, for like 5-6 kilometers to get outside of the city. Um, and then we're gonna sleep there because it's like already past midnight. Yo, so we camped up there and down here. There's a beautiful river. to buy some stuff from an outdoor store and the supermarket and then we were off to the first day. The day was mostly flat and on paved roads but in the afternoon we finally hit the off-road part of our Kangong flu. We both know that this has to end. We can keep coming back. We found some water here. It says dog owners only but I guess yeah if it's good enough for <laughs> Off-road path on the trip. We've been riding like 70 kilometers uh, on paved roads up till now. And now we get into the highland and scan wild. Yo, this is so beautiful. It's like so wide open and empty. The highlands. <laughs> what is going on, baby? Looks like we found a spot for the night. <laughs> Soft as fuck. Next to a river. Beautiful. There's a few uh, insects here that are making this beautiful camp spot a little annoying. <laughs> This is so, so damn annoying. It's like super tiny things that are, yeah, in the thousands of flying around and annoying us. It's terrible. Dinner in the making. Smell. Lentils, put carrots. Well, while these insects are eating us alive, it is a pretty nice view. Dinner for the night. It's not quite vegan, as there's uh, maybe like 50 to 100 little insects in there. Yeah, and we're all sitting in the tent. Cause it is unbearable outside with the insects. I'm in the main Hast du gerade bei dir? Das finde ich total witzig. <laughs> this would have been a really nice evening outside. Um, yeah. So we're having wraps with chocolate. <laughs> Yo, these fucking things are still here. We thought they'd be gone in the morning, but all oh, this. Like stuff also on the green side wall that's all insects. This is terrible. 
In comparison from what I'm used to from Scandinavia, normal mosquitoes are kind of limited to a certain number in the tent, but from the midges there are hundreds in the tent, and outside you can even be swarmed by thousands. This was a big bummer for us, uh, since it made the mornings and evenings really hard. We hadn't informed ourselves really about them, so we didn't have any spray or other equipment for our protection. This is the first time that we're having to get off the bike, <laughs> because yeah, it's all a lot of mud and grass and can't really ride. Yeah, <laughs> kind of fun. What a sick path this is. It's been a long this lake here, just a tiny little single trail. It's really hard uh, to, to stay upright, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just in the middle of nowhere in the highlands. beautiful right here and we're having to cross a lot of these rivers uh, some of them you can ride through but yeah we're getting our feet pretty wet <laughs> What a beautiful gravel road this is. The mountains left and right. And purple heather.
deep. It's gonna be on the far away. Oh. I mean, we're like in the middle of nowhere. Although we often felt like being in the middle of nowhere, the next time was never far away. Almost every day in the afternoon, we passed through the town and took a nice long lunch break. Lunch consisted of uh, bread with baked beans or tomato sauce, crisps and a beer. This was one of our favorite parts of the day. So that's amazing and now we've got like 10 kilometers of single trail um, ahead of us. First flat on this trip in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah, this trail is so tough. There's like every 100, 200 meters place like this where you have to get off the bike, carry it or push it. And hold on for like 10 kilometers. like not have a strict plan um, yeah we're just like making the plan day by day and that is that's really nice we are in a traffic jam <laughs> we're just taking this as like a connection road um, and yeah these roads are so narrow that there's like lots of trucks on there and they're blocking the way I guess that's some change of scenery as well <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to put in a night shift um, so that we could get the um, train tomorrow in the morning from Fort William to Oban and from there in the afternoon the ferry from Oban to the Hebride Islands and that's why we're riding in the middle of the night which is also really cool it's like yeah I mean almost no cars and the road is great there's no wind. Yeah, it's just we're super fast. We are about to board the ferry to the outer heap, right? We've never been there. Yeah, should should we go out there? I don't know. Yeah, we're looking forward. 